Hello everybody and welcome back to Robert's Reviews. Today is Thursday, which no longer means we are going to be doing a Steve Carell review. We have watched every Steve Carell movie ever on the channel. They're all listed in um, a playlist called Steve Carell Reviews. So if you guys are interested in Steve Carell and all that, go and check that out. I'm looking forward to this weekend. I do have, is it this weekend? Yes, this weekend. Um, I do have a, a Robert's Ranks coming out about every single uh, Steve Carell movie ever made, and I'm ranking them from worst to best, so make sure you guys are checking that out. Um, but we are starting a new series today. We are going to start working on the Quentin Tarantino films, which, if you guys don't know who Quentin Tarantino is, uh, he's one of the most prolific directors and writers um, ever. Almost all of his movies are successes, um, and I personally just really like his directing style, so I'm really excited to look for. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, looking into those and watching them all. Uh, so today we're starting off that series. Starting with Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs was released in 1992 and was written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. Originally it was directed by somebody else, but then he literally paid them off uh, and made them become a producer in order for him to be a director because he was so passionate about directing his own work here. Uh, which I think worked out for the best because it is now really great. This is one that I haven't actually seen yet. I've seen quite a few Tarantino films, uh, but this is one of them that I haven't seen, and um, I can't understand why I haven't seen it yet. It really is fantastic. No spoilers here, but essentially what happens is there's a heist uh, with a bunch of boys, and it goes horribly wrong, and they basically have to re configure what they're going to do, the, the plan's all ruined, and there might be a traitor amongst them. And they have to figure out who the traitor is, uh, who's a cop, and try to figure out who it is without, you know, telling anybody else. And they don't have names, right? They, they, they kind of do, but, like, nobody knows them because they don't want them to know. Uh, it's a big heist, and it's all secretive. They all have code names of colors. Um, and it's a really cool movie. And, and really what, what it comes down to, it's a, it's a heist movie without be, there being a heist, right? Like, Heist movies are great. I love it when people are like, oh, let's go rob a bank. Like, for, for instance, the recent movie that came out, The Vault, that came out earlier this month, or maybe it was last month, um, with Freddie Highmore in it. And that was a heist movie, right? Because they're, they're breaking into a bank and they're trying to get a lot of the stuff that's in the bank and all that kind of stuff. And this is very similar because they're stealing diamonds. But we don't actually see the heist, right? We've, we, we follow them from right after the heist happens, which is really unique. And I don't think it's been done before this, and I don't think it's even really been done after this. Um... But the fact that we just, like, start watching the movie from right after the heist happens is really interesting. Like, Tarantino asks a question here. He's literally like, hey, we all see these movies about heists, but what about what happens after the heist? Because normally the heist is a big thing in the film, right? Like, including the vault, where we see him break into the vault, and um, that's kind of the end of it, really. Uh, and, and here it's like, well, what happens to the people afterwards? And it really does ask that question. It's really cool because... I didn't think about. I, I didn't think to ask that question of myself before, and I'm really happy this movie came out so I could ask that of myself. But besides the movie being a, a fantastic uh, place to showcase this question, it also is a piece of art. Really, it is. It's a piece of art that can showcase just character development. There's almost no plot in this movie, and it's great because there's so many great characters, right? And like, I, I've always said this on, on many of my videos characters can can make a plot right like if you were to say you know say harry potter and the sorcerer's stone okay take that movie or book whatever and and have different characters it would be completely different right unless they were like well this plot's happening regardless of the character which then just changes the character not the plot this one here is obviously one where if you change the characters the plot would change which is my favorite kind of movie i love movies that are based like that that's why i love the devil all the time you can see the books right there i also have the screenplay behind the punisher back there um it's one of my favorite movies of all time, and it's not a very popular movie, not a whole people like it, but like I love it because it's so character-driven. And this one is the same way, where it's super character-driven and character-focused, and I love movies like that. And let's talk about some of the characters here, let's just talk about a few of them, starting with Harvey Keitel as Mr. White. And he, essentially, is one of the first characters we see, and he's helping this guy named Mr. Orange, who got shot. That's like one of the opening parts, uh, besides them talking about Madonna, which is a 
pretty great scene. If you haven't seen that uh, that scene yet, go ahead and Google Reservoir Dogs opening scene on YouTube, and it, it really is funny. You should check it out. Um, but then we see, you know, he Orange got shot, and so White here is like, all right, we're going to help you, we're going to save you, and he develops a really nice relationship with uh, with him there, and it really is a, a cool relationship. I wanted to bring it up because I think he did really well. I think he did really well, especially towards the end. I can't spoil it, but something happens in the end, and it really is a really cool, tense moment there that I really liked. And honestly, a lot of it had to do with Keetle here as White. Tim Roth as Mr. Orange. Mr. Orange is the guy that got shot, and he's not really in the whole movie a whole lot, but I just wanted to mention him because I think he's one of the better actors here. I think he does have one of the better performances. Um, really, really, really solid, considering he's just laying there in a pool of blood all the time. And I, I definitely want to mention Steve Buscemi as Mr. Pink. Easily the best performance in the entire movie. The funniest character, the most well thought out character, and honestly, I think he has the most screen time as well. And he's really, really, really cool in this. I like him a lot. I love Buscemi a lot. I need to watch more of his movies. Uh, in the future, I definitely will do a series on him at some point in the future. Um, Probably not in the probably not in the near future because I have a lot of series I'm doing, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. And and honestly, I think B. Semi really made this movie, and he wasn't even going to be that part uh, in the originally. Originally in the film, Quentin Tarantino was going to play Mr. Pink, but then Steve Buscemi was like, "I'd like to play Mr. Pink," and Tarantino was like, "All right, well, if you give a really really good performance, then maybe you can have it." And apparently, he gave one of the better auditions, and he was like, "All right, you deserve it," and he definitely did. He was quite fantastic here, um, and again, I do think he made this movie. This movie is so much fun. It really is. It just got taken off HBO Max. Uh, my buddy Julian, you guys have seen him in the channel before. Um, he messaged me and he was like, hey, I'm going to watch Reservoir Dogs tonight because it's, it's, it's leaving HBO Max. And I was like, okay. And then I realized that I was supposed to watch it the day after. And then I checked and it, it already left. And I was like, are you kidding me? But I rented it on YouTube for $4. And it's worth it. It really is. It's a short movie, but it's a lot of fun. And honestly, it's one of the best gangster movies I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm really excited for more Quentin Tarantino because... He's just so great. I'm so excited to watch more. I can't even like explain to you how excited I am for the coming weeks where I get to watch these. Uh, just a reminder that we will be taking a break after True Romance next week to start the Saw series uh, in in uh, a wait for the new Saw movie. Uh, so we'll be doing that. So we'll be taking a break. But I'm going to go ahead and give Reservoir Dogs an A+. Plus for being just a fantastic overall movie. You really should check it out if you haven't seen it yet. It's really fun and I like it a whole lot. But that's going to do it for me today. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys have a great week. Uh, looking forward to the weekend. We have Super Bad tomorrow. One of the best movies of all time. Super excited to watch that one again. And Saturday, Velvet Goldmine. And on mm, Sunday. Yes, Sunday. All Steve Carell movies ranked that have ever existed ever. Um, so make sure you guys check that out if you guys like Steve Carell. Or even if you don't, check it out anyway. It'll be a fun video. I'm really excited about it. I finally made my final list, and I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, I, there's there's a lot of iffies in there that like just don't feel like they're as bad as they are. But then there's some that are like really bad. But I'm like I remember them being better than they were, and so it's like I'm trying to like make sure everything is adjusted. Uh, so I'm really excited to do that, and I'm, I'm going to film that one later today. So I'm really really excited about it. And starting Monday, we're going to be continuing our Lord of the Rings series. Tuesday, we're finishing the Leonardo DiCaprio series. Wednesday, we're going to continue the MCU forever. Thursday, another uh, Quentin Tarantino movie. We're doing uh, True Romance. Friday, Dirty Dancing. And Saturday, all Leonardo DiCaprio movies ranked. So look forward to those. I'm really excited about it. And as always, keep watching movies and television. Stay educated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.